first of all, can you explain the basis of how you guys came to the name Millie Vanilli? Yeah. Okay, so the name Millie Vanilli was, uh, you know, there was a group called Scritti Politti that was yeah. from London. Mm-hmm. And we loved that. Uh, we loved their sounds. And, and we loved it, the, the way it rolled on the tongue. Scritti Politti, that's cool. So we're trying to find something. So we, and then we, we were thinking, okay, ice cream. Dark dude, light dude, like ice cream. It was kind of cheesy, didn't work. And we like, oh, vanilla's cool. Vanilla's dope. And then uh, somehow, this Ingrid's little name was Millie. And then we, okay. we, how we mixed it all up, and it was like Millie Vanilli. And then it, it had this ring to it. It had Italian. It, it kind of sang. And it, it stopped. It was like, and people always ask, are you Millie? Or are you Vanilli? You know, yeah, I, like, I initially thought that <laughs> one was Millie, one was yeah, uh, Vanilli. That's right, that's right, that's right. And and that's how it, it, it came about, you know, like that. And we just rolled with it. And it, what, what happened was we did uh, as first trial. I'll tell you, like, how, because I'm sure you're going to ask me the question, like, so how did you, who picked what and why? Because, right. you know, obviously we didn't sing on the record. So it's like, why did you pick that and why did you pick that? Well, truth and matter is that Rob was like, I ain't trying to do much. Huh. So, <laughs> oh, Rob. <laughs> Smart. So was was the video the first thing that you guys did as the unit? No, no, no. First, it was, uh, we did, first we did a, I think it was a trial out and we went to a radio station that was regional and we did this thing. And there was no talk of a of, of video. And then that that thing that we did at a, at a TV studio, basic, after picking up the parts, that thing kind of, it went like wildfire in the region. And that's mm-hmm. when Frank was like, yo, man, we got something there. you know." And then they, they started to like test the record and play the record in, in the clubs, in, in black clubs in Frankfurt and in a club called Funkadelic. Mm-hmm. Where Frank used to go in with the vinyl because he had a, a Furman. No, I forgot the name of that that uh, vinyl machine where you can print vinyl. He had, oh, a, right. he had one of them. A the test studio. pressing. Yeah. And then he would test press, go to the club, and we'd come back and be like, so then when, when he had it right, then in Funkadelic, Lake, you know, he, and Funkadelic Lake was mostly dark skinned people, mm-hmm. mostly. So it was all Americans and you know, like he was like, yo, I got it. I got it. But, you know, that was done by new marks, you know, right. That, yeah. that, that was a cover. So it was not too difficult to like, okay, you already have something that's, that is obviously great. And, but he blew it up, you know, he had big, better equipment, but it kind of duplicated exactly what it was, but I can't take, take it away from him that first he had the instinct of pick that one or somebody else picked it and brought it to him. Right. Okay. So 